July 27, 2022 is a Wednesday. Welcome to your daily weather for the great city of Houston. Dress for heat. The temperature today should reach up to 99 degrees Fahrenheit and down to 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity is at 34%. You can expect no rain and no snow today. Some clouds. We've got moderate wind at about 14 miles per hour. Tomorrow is going to be hot with few clouds. Friday is going to be hot with heavy intensity rain. Saturday is going to be hot with heavy intensity rain. Sunday is going to be hot with scattered clouds. Monday is going to be hot with light rain. Tuesday is going to be hot with scattered clouds. Wednesday is going to be hot with few clouds. No weather alerts at the moment. And now for the news. Warning, some news stories can be disturbing or offensive. Stories are provided by various sources. For our next story, principal of Uvalde Elementary School suspended in wake of deadly shooting. The principal of the elementary school in Uvalde, Texas, where an intruder shot dead 19 students and two teachers in May, has been suspended from her jobs. In our next story, Republicans urge Google to include anti-abortion centers in abortion search results Reuters.com. Washington, July 26 Reuters 17 U.S. Republican State Attorneys General wrote a letter to the chief executive of Alphabet's Google Google. In our next story, longstanding advisor to Viktor Orban resigns over pure Nazi speech. A long-standing advisor to Viktor Orban has resigned in protest at a pure Nazi speech the Hungarian Prime Minister gave th. At was worthy of Goebbels. Next up, fact-check meme touting the Permian Basin as quick fix for U.S. domestic oil needs oversimplifies the economics and structure of the oil industry Reuters.com. A widely shared meme suggests the Permian Basin, the largest shale oil field in the United States, has enough oil to few. L. The country for the next 200 years. In our next story, Senate moves forward on bill to boost semiconductor industry in effort to thwart China's rise. A bipartisan group of senators on Tuesday advanced legislation to provide billions in federal support for the semiconduct tour industry and to expand some federal research grants. For our next story, Trump says his political consultants don't want him going after trans athletes but still made baseless transphobic remarks during his speech in D.C. Former President Donald Trump said on Tuesday that his political consultants have advised him to veer away from criticize ing transgender athletes. In other Texas news, Ted Cruz calls the video of Josh Hawley fleeing the Capitol on January 6 gotcha politics, but admits it's worth a chuckle when set to the Chariots of Fire theme song. Republican Sen. That's it for today. Have a good one. We're always working to improve our service. Please subscribe to show support. See description for sources. This content contains information from OpenWeather, TM API, which is made available here under the Open Database License, ODBL.